In this video, we're going to show you how to properly label a diagram. Now, there's a few built-in tools in BioRender that make this very easy for you to do. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to remember is to uh, evenly space out your labels as much as possible. So for this example, we're going to use this very simple goblet cell and these three labels. So I'm going to make sure that they're not sort of crammed together or unevenly distributed like this. As much as possible, I'm going to try to evenly space them out like so. Okay, so they're evenly spaced. Now for the line, we're actually going to avoid using this arrow, this um, very notoriously used arrow that actually makes it a little bit confusing and also uh, aesthetically not the most elegant. So arrows should be reserved for um, action, for emotion, or movement instead of using it to label an object. So I'm going to actually alt drag and make another copy here so we can have sort of a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm going to delete that and as recommended here I'm going to use the line with the dot at the end and with a bend if needed. So I'm going to use the one with the bend right here. So click that and I'm going to simply label like this and you'll notice the line at the end is very helpful for the eye to kind of stop at the object at exactly where you want it to uh, to land like so okay so you'll notice without that dot at the end if I were to remove it you can still read it it's visible um, but it doesn't quite land the eye exactly where it needs to. So that little dot really does help kind of anchor where exactly you're trying to point to. And you could do the same for uh, sort of these frills on the top of the cell here as well. So I'm going to go back to labeling this vesicle and then all I'm going to do is click alt drag to copy that line multiple times. The nice thing here is that we're now following this tip here um, that's telling us to make sure that the line is parallel to the uh, to the actual label itself. So um, that's what's nice about this little elbow joint is I can actually move just the end here while the uh, the base of the line remains parallel to the label itself. And it's very flexible and then I can move this anywhere around the canvas to point to the object that I'm labeling. Like so. You can shorten it, you can lengthen it. Uh, that's the beauty of using these uh, the bent arrow lines. Now if you'd like to adjust the line thickness, you can of course do that here under line width. Perhaps you want to try a 3. That looks a little bit thick. Maybe we'll do 2.5. And then you can always change the size of the tip of the arrow as well, depending on how you scale your diagram, larger or smaller. And that's how you would properly label a diagram. Now you can create some beautifully complex figures such as labeling the brain simply by using this bent line with the dot at the end effect. And you can see here that it's following the rule. You can get pretty advanced as well by following the shape of the object that you're labeling with the words themselves. Now that's a little bit of an advanced feature. But you'll notice here that the elbow certainly is helpful because the objects you're labeling will never be even distance apart from each other. So this acts as a little bit of a a scope or a crane that you can kind of maneuver around corners with. So that's how you would properly label an object and I hope you found this helpful.